everyone, it's Sanjay here. Hope you've been well. Um, what I'm about to uh, show you today is a, a comedy um, set that I did um, as part of a two-night uh, comedy tour, I'm going to call it, uh, for Over the Hills Comedy. Uh, we had um, one at the end of September, which was at the Waitoa um, pub back in Haitai. And the other one we also did the very next day, 1st of October, which was in Martinborough. Um, both nights I honestly, without sounding too, um, I don't know, EGSS or whatever, I fucking killed both nights. I did so well. They were actually such a, they were such good gigs and they actually given me, I call it a second wind for performing. So um, I'm actually really happy that I did well on those gigs. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded anything comedy related to this channel. So um, honestly, that's going to change because I do want to do more stuff for YouTube. Uh, I've done a few other things for my other socials, you know, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram. So follow me on those two if you want. But um, this is the first of a two night comedy show that I did and uh, it was at a uh, Waitoa, um, really nice pub, really actually really nice beer, so uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, usually I come up with little funny intros, but today I kind of thought, fuck it, let's just uh, let's just do natural, and maybe the mutton break gig I'll do like a little crazy intro one, who knows. But um, until then, I um, hope you enjoy the show um, that you're about to watch, and uh, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Sandra, if you just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Seriously, how, how difficult is that? I've been called Bruce before, how the fuck is that? Mean? <laughs> so, um, I'd, I'd like to just a few things. So, um, I am, um, like like most of you guys, um, I'm I, at that stage in my life where I kind of feel like I'm not really Indian enough. I'm actually a second generation Kiwi. So like, uh, I know that it kind of looks like New Delhi, but I'm really from Newtown. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I can, I can smile, I can do like the, the classic Kiwi smile, just like when you walk someone, you go... I can also smile like an Indian as well. <laughs> it's so weird, my parents, are, my parents are first generation Kiwi, so they were born in New Zealand too, so I never got the pressures of, you know, being, you know, having an arranged marriage and wanting to be a doctor or anything, but um, I still got the anxiety and stuff down. What the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously, seriously, I'm such an anxious per person. You know, like, I, I'm such an overthinker as well. Like, I can't do the normal things that people do. Like, I'm sorry, man, what was your name? Sam. Sam, so, um, Sam, say if you need to buy, like, a hammer, what would you do? You'd go buy a hammer, you know, go to, like, Bunny's Warehouse, buy a hammer. But I, I can't do that, man, because, like, in my brain, I would go to, like, the Bunny's, and I'll just see the rows of hammers just on the shelf, and my brain will go, there's a difference between these hammers. <laughs> I wonder what they are. And then I'm there, Sam, for 10 fucking minutes, looking at every single hammer, looking at the prices, thinking there's a difference. Like, oh, this one's made from carbon fiber. This one's made from solid steel. This one says it's a regular hammer. This one says super. Is there a difference? Does super means it's better quality? I got no idea. Like, the staff and buddies are looking at me going, should we actually help him? Like, Three days later, I'm on YouTube looking at hammer reviews. <laughs> Sam, did you know that there are five podcasts dedicated to testing hammers? I now know that. Like, a week goes past, I've forgotten what I needed the hammer for in the first place. What I'm saying is, I need to learn to relax. Why the fuck didn't we legalize weed? <laughs> Just wouldn't make things so much better. Oh, don't get me wrong, I tried to relax, I tried to do like the normal stuff that people do, you know, Most, a lot of my friends were saying, hey Sanjay, just, just relax and watch some TV, you know, watch some quality shows, <laughs> what's the shit that's on it, is there a reality TV show for anything nowadays? Like, we've got, we've got a few people, let's strand them on an island. We've got another few people, let's strand them on an island. Let's get some people doing cooking. And we'll strand them on a fucking island. <laughs> like, there's a show about gold mining. Yay! <laughs> you know there's a show called Finding Bigfoot? It is nine seasons long. 
<laughs> they haven't found him yet. <sighs> I watched that shit for nine seasons, and they didn't find him. The closest thing they had was a fucking blurry photograph that some toothless head found on like a camera that he squashed in his backpack. They're filming the show on $55,000 cameras. Point them at the bushes. <laughs> I can't point them with legalized weed. <laughs> it just, like, kind of boggles my mind that there's a reality, there's only one group in our that don't have their own reality TV shows, but just TV shows in general. And I think they personally should. Like, so, can you guess what that group is with? No? It's cannibals. <laughs> a cannibal reality TV show. Seriously, you're, you're just sitting at home, you're like, oh, we've watched everything on Netflix, yeah? Let's just see what's on, what on the TV. <laughs> Who wants to eat a millionaire? <laughs> Survivor, the real game. Yeah. <laughs> Master Ship, you see <laughs> No, it was just like, your secret ingredient today is Caucasians! <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? It's so fucking bland. <laughs> 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 uh, one, one, thing, one, thing that, um, one thing that I do love doing is um, I like to play video games, and uh, I used to be a bit of a gamer when I was younger. I <laughs> know, fucking, you wouldn't think of it, right? I look like the poster boy for Dungeons and Dragons. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm one of these people. Dude, I, 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 truth be told, I'm the, I haven't actually played Dungeons and Dragons. Like, I'm, like, I, see, I'm one of these people that if I'm into a game, I fall, I'll be the fucker in the costume. The wizard costume with the bear guy. I am Lord Phineas, and I am the evil wizard going to attack. My friends like Sanjay, just roll the fucking dice. <laughs> also, one thing that has relaxed me is that I'm actually I'm, I'm actually in a um, five year relationship with my girlfriend. <laughs> Sam's just surprised. Fuck, he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> so am I, man. I'm surprised too. Like we're at the point now where like I'm very comfortable with my girlfriend, and like just um, just a, a few weeks ago, she's I was at the supermarket. I go, "Hun, uh, do you need me to get you a thing?" And she just sends one message. On period, knee pads. Now, if I was in a year into my relationship, I felt a bit nervous. Five years, I felt like I'm a decent boyfriend. I can get her some pads. Until I see the row of pads on the new world shelf. And my brain goes, there's a difference between these pads. I wonder what they are. And then I'm there for 10 minutes, looking at every pad, looking at the colors, thinking there's a difference. Like, this one is pink, this one's green. Oh, this one says regular pads, this one says super. Does super mean a bit of quality? I, I, that's not what it fucking means at all, does it? Five days later, I'm on YouTube looking at pad reviews. Did you know that there are nine podcasts in the pads? I now know that. A week goes past, my, my girl's package is like, where the fuck are the pads? And in the end, I just got her a hammer. <laughs> <laughs>